by using this contactor i was told to make a starter but the condition here is that this contactor must be operated by using two limit switch. As you can see, I have two micro switch right now, which is manufactured by CNC company. So here two limit switch I have now must be connected in such a way that when I operate both the limit switch, then only contactor will be turned on. If any of these limit switch does not operate, then in that condition, our contactor must not be turned on. So friends, the condition is that after operation of both the limit switch, our contactor will be turned on. For this, what we have to do is, these two limit switch must be connected in series. How we are going to do the wiring, let's understand. I am using a MCB here to turn on and off the power supply. At this output terminal of MCB, where we receive phase supply, connect a piece of wire here. So I connected a wire with this output terminal of MCB. Power supply from this wire will be supplied to this limit switch. Now if you look at this back side of limit switch, you will find total three terminals are here. Here on this terminal, you can see C is written. C means common. Here NO, NO means normally open and NC means normally closed. The power supply from this MCB is to be connected with the common terminal means power supply will first connect at this point. So I connected wire here. We are going to use NO contact because after pressing the limit switch, contactor must be turned on. If it was asked that on pressing limit switch, contactor must be turned off, then we have to use NC contact. But it was asked that when we press the switch, contactor must be turned on, then we will use NO contact. I am taking this wire and connecting with NO contact. Ok, I connected the wire here. Now the power supply through this wire will be supplied further to the limit switch at common terminal. Here is the common terminal. So I am connecting the wire here. To the NO contact of this limit switch, we are going to connect another wire. The power supply from this wire will be supplied to contactor for operation. We used phase supply here for controlling, so the output we receive here is also phase supply. This phase supply is to be connected with A1 terminal of the contactor. Here is the A1 terminal of contactor, so I am connecting the wire here. We also need to provide neutral power supply to this contactor for operation. For this, I am using a black wire for neutral supply. I am connecting this wire with neutral terminal of MCB. Take the other end of wire end to this contactor, connect with A2 terminal here, in this way. Connections to operate contactor with two limit switch is now completed. If you want to do the wiring for this contactor like a starter, then connections will be of different type. For now, I am just explaining the concept that if you want to operate the contactor through two limit switch and the condition is that both the limit switch must operate and after that only contactor will be turned on then how you will do the wiring. Now I am turning on this MCB. After turning on the MCB if I operate this limit switch then you can see this contactor didn't turn on. When I press this limit switch also now you can see contactor turn on. On releasing switch contactor turns off. On pressing switch contactor turns on. If I release this first limit switch, you can see contactor turned off. On again pressing switch, contactor turns on. You should see that I am pressing both the limit switch together. If you stop operating any of these limit switch, then in this condition, your contactor will stop its operation. This means only condition is that both the limit switch must operate together. After that only contactor will turn on. If you release any of these switches, contactor will turn off. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.